senior wrestler at PHS Hunter Fritch, or commonly known as Frenchie, is going for something he has dreamed about since he can remember, a high school wrestling state championship. Today we will learn a little bit about him and what drives Hunter as he chases his white whale. How long have you been wrestling for? Um, since I was in first grade, I believe, in 16 years. Wow. Um, have you had a goal since you were that age? Yeah, I mean, I've always, wrestling with the Owens from a young age, I mean, we, me and Bridger and all of them, when I lived here in the beginning, we, uh, we'd go up and practice with the high school, so I always wanted to be a high school state champ. That's a big goal. How do you keep focused on that goal? Um, <laughs> kind of sounds stupid, but just grinding. I mean, you, know, you, you, can't, you can't ever forget what your goal is. You know what I mean? You always got to keep working towards it. How long have you trained realistically for that goal? Um, I'd say since I was a freshman. What effect have the, has wrestling had on your life? Um, it's had a huge impact on my life. Um, I mean, physically, it's, it's helped me a lot. I used to be a chunky kid, so it's helped me kind of get into shape, a little bit of a glow up, and um, um, just mentally, it's helped me a lot, overcoming adversity. All of those things, it's, it's helped my life. Uh, how have the Owens affected your life? Um, they've greatly impacted my life. Um, they've always been there for me. They're, they act mean and tough, but they're sweethearts. Um, they, care, they care about us a lot. Uh, what does fellow state hopeful Bridger Wenzel mean to you? Oh, <laughs> he's, honestly, it sounds, it sounds crazy, but he's the reason I'm not in the streets or you know, doing drugs or something like that. He's, him and his family have been nothing but great for me. They've, I mean, I call his mom, mom. His, I call his dad, dad. He's my brother. It's, they're my family now. They took me in and um, I'm very grateful for that. Hunter to me is, uh, he's kind of like another brother. Um, he, we and him are together constantly. Um, he lives with me, so he's kind of part of my family now. Um, so yeah, he's kind of like another brother. Has the common goal that you guys are both trying to achieve in wrestling kind of brought you closer as well? Yeah, I mean, we're both chasing a state title. Um, we both have been runner-ups. Um, so we kind of have only one goal in mind and that's to win a state title. Um, so to have him have the same goal as me around me all the time, I mean, like at, at home, at school, and where we are. Um, it always motivates both of us to reach that goal because we're always push, pushing each other. How would you describe your style of wrestling to someone who may not know? Um, it's pretty funky, I guess. I don't want to toot my own horn or anything, but I guess kind of like Ollie, you know, his little foot shuffle. It kind of reminds me of me. I don't know. I just, I wrestle kind of bigger weights, but I try to be as, as fast on my feet as I can. What have you done this year, opposed to like other years, to put yourself in the best position to win state? Just a lot of extra work, training, um, making sure that my mind's going to be in the right spot when that time comes. Explain to me that feeling when you walked off the mat your first year here in Polson and you weren't the champ. Um, kind of just chills. I didn't really know what happened. I was shell shock. Um, that whole match, I just wasn't in my element. I didn't know what was going on, and stepping off, I was just, I was dazed. I didn't know what to think. How have past shortcomings in state defined you as both a person and a wrestler? Um, so many ways. I, I, I always make jokes, just saying I always, I always got to the finale, but I never finished. You know what I mean? I always, I was always a part of something that was great, but I was never greatness. But. Um, I was, I was young, I didn't know how to handle any of that, and I had a lot going on, so I mean, it, it definitely shows me how much I've grown, because I know at this point in my head, I know I can, I, I can handle it, back then I was, I, I really couldn't, it was too much pressure. Have you seen Hunter grow over the past couple of years, and if so, how? Yeah, I've seen Hunter grow a lot, actually. Um, when he first came here, he kind of, kind of had a temper on him, kind of wrestled, like, with a lot of aggression, which is good, um, unless you let your emotions get the best of you, um, then it can kind of go south from there. Uh, but yeah, he's grown a lot. Like he's 
he's controlled that tremendously. Um, and uh, just as a person, um, he kind of came in a little bit cocky, a little bit um, too much of I'm the best kind of thing. And he's humbled a lot um, and worked through all of his struggles and just everything he's been through in life too. Um, he's just he's just a different person than who he was when he first came here. How have you seen Hunter grow as both a wrestler and a person over the past couple of years that you've had him? You know, I I, I think that's kind of the biggest thing that, that Hunter's been working on is his growth. Uh, you know, he, he's had a couple setbacks in, in his wrestling and a lot of it had to do with like his, um, would be would probably best way to say it is like just kind of his hangups in his mind. Um, and I feel like he's really starting to get past some of that stuff. Uh, he's He seems like he's enjoy, enjoying the sport even more than he used to. And, it, and when you're enjoying what you're doing, you're gonna put a lot more effort into it. and usually going to have a lot more success too. So I, I feel like he, he's um, not really been growing as a person, becoming more confident and, and just like becoming a more all around person and, and a better person. What separates Hunter from other wrestlers that you've had in the past? Um, I think, uh, you know, one of, one of the, the things Hunter has going for him is his uh, ability to kind of be low anxiety most of the time when he's out on the mat. Um, I think that allows him to wrestle harder for longer periods of time. Um, it helps him stay kind of mindful of, of what he's doing out there. And um, a, lot, a lot of wrestlers actually kind of struggle with that is they, they let their nerves kind of take over and then, you know, they get kind of lost in the moment, moment a little bit. And um, when that happens, they don't usually wrestle as good as they can. So I, I think that's probably about his strongest thing that he, he can do is just stay in the moment a little bit. So obviously you have that expectation of being a state championship, what, uh, of being a state champion. What kind of pressure does that put on you? Um, it's it's a lot of pressure, but I I know I can do it. You know what I mean? I a lot of times a, a big part of becoming what you want to become is visualizing it, and I spend a lot of time just you know when I have some free time, just closing my eyes, thinking about it, me getting my hand raised. Uh, tell me about some of your other passions other than wrestling. Um, I mean. I like rapping. That's pretty fun. It's pretty good too. Uh, it's a good way for me to, to express myself. Um, I like hiking, you know, Montana stuff, snowboarding. So with uh, no wrestling in your near future after high school's over, does that kind of make you enjoy every moment that you oh, yeah. that you have this season? Oh yeah, hands down. It makes it it makes it priceless. I mean, you can't. This is my last time to do any of this stuff. Last time to go to Tri State. Last time to you know walk into that, that state state room, so. Why is this year different than any other year? It's the last one. And finally, what's one thing you think everybody should know about Hunter? Um, I mean, there's there's a lot of gr great things to, to know about Hunter. Um, one of the things I like the most about him is uh, his sense of humor. You can, uh, he's definitely always one that's gonna keep people smiling, keep people happy. I mean, he's not afraid to put a mustache on his face <laughs> and walk around the halls and, and uh, be smiling like, you know, you know, he's 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 his own person and, and that's a that's a cool quality to have in, in in anybody. And what's one thing you would like to just tell everyone about you? Um I guess just that I'm not your typical guy. <laughs> I got I got a lot going on and um I don't know, I've had a lot going on, but look at me now. I mean, I'm still here. I'm still fighting. I'm still striving. So just know that, I mean, stuff's not easy, but I'm a perfect example of where you can be.